Thousands of people in the metro are still without power and it's presenting challenges for the people left in the dark. New here at 10 o'clock, 41 Action News reporter Tom Dempsey shows us how they got some help tonight. Tom. Yeah, that's right, Mike. This map shows around 3,000 people in the metro area still without power. That obviously leads to lots of issues, but KCPNL hopes some dry ice can ease some concerns. All right. All right. We've got this wonderful gift from KCPNL. <laughs> it's not easy living without electricity. <laughs> but that's the case for thousands of people in the metro area tonight. Probably about a quarter of six, it shut down altogether. For Terry and Cheryl Moran, the outage led to a scramble to and keep food cool. That's what we used. We just went grocery shopping, so I have a whole whole plate of chicken downstairs. No power also means no computers or internet. I was going to do some work on the computer today, and so I didn't have that. For diabetics like Terry Moran, it also means health concerns. I have to take insulin for diabetes, and so you have to keep the unused insulin cool. Already. Today, help came along in the form of dry ice. We're offering them 10 pound ice blocks of, of dry ice to just help them bridge over the night um, in their freezers. Cooler and longer lasting than regular ice. A giveaway all meant to bring relief to those who need it. Yeah. This kind of helps keep that freezer cold for about 24 hours and just kind of help people get over that hump. As electric crews work to restore power tonight, the dry ice helps keep the Moran's food cool. But they hope electricity comes back soon. I'll be very, very grateful. Oh, it'll be, it'll be wonderful. Now, KCPNL hopes to restore power for all customers by tomorrow night. In the meantime, workers will give out more dry ice tomorrow starting at 7 in the morning at the Home Depot on Bannister Road. Tom Dempsey, 41 Action News.